This one will see athletes from Haiti, the British Virgin Islands, the Bahamas, Trinidad and Tobago, Curacao, Guyana, Turks and Caicos Islands, and uh, the U.S. Virgin Islands. On your screen right now, Everett Fraser of uh, the Bahamas. Now perhaps carrying the hopes the of uh, the Bahamas in this event. Yeah, Marvin Delpe of Haiti will go in lane number one. Mario Carter of the British Virgin Islands in two. Everett Fraser, the Bahamas in three. Kadim Chidafu of Trinidad and Tobago. I have a lot of time for him. Ramije DeWitt of Curacao. Scarlett Charles of Guyana. Dane saint of Turks and Caicos. And Micah Dominique of the U.S. Virgin Islands in lane number eight. A first look at Kadim Chidafu of Trinidad and Tobago. A lot of his times this season has been wind-assisted. But there is no doubt that that young man is full of quality. He goes in lane four as we look at Fraser from the Bahamas in three. Here's Chinapu. Comes in with a time of 10.52. Yeah, that 10.52, positive 3.5 meters per second. So a lot of help with that. And there's the Guyanese. Well, they have looked brilliant today. Skyler Charles will fancy his chances here, has a 10.92 to his credit. And we know that most of the Guyanese have been running faster here at Carifta so far. And if that trend continues, then expect him to be in the finalists. The top two who will be safe. Chinapu won't have things his own way. Won the sprint double at the Trinidad and Tobago trials told me yesterday he feels he's in the shape to go 10-4 here at Carifta. Here's the start of his journey. He goes in lane four. Set. Off they go. Chenapu got away well. So too from the Bahamas, Fraser. Chenapu and Fraser right together. Now Chenapu steps ahead and wins the semi-final in 10.92. Did a lot of the work late in the race, but he got the job done nonetheless. And he qualifies for the final of the under 17 boys, 100 meters, a returning finalist from last year. But this time around, he has a genuine shot at a medal. Yeah, and he came through pretty easily. And uh, we'll certainly be looking forward to improving on his performance in the final. We had a negative win in the first heat, minus 2.5. You see Chinapu there, a decent drive phase, uh, holds it, uh, maintains his acceleration, and just uh, pulls away from Fraser going into the last phase of the race. Has time for a quick glance over. We all know who made that famous. <laughs> 10.96 for Chinapu, negative 1.4, Everett Fraser 11.06, and the wind of Curacao at 11.19 still has a chance of being in the final. That means officially last year's silver medalist Ishmael Roll of the Bahamas is out and cannot make the final.